Today's video, we are doing everything Halloween homeschool. Uh, we're doing a week of homeschooling while doing Halloween. We're doing Halloween stuff in our homeschool. We're we are homeschooling. Without further ado, we're going to get into it. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below. See you next time. Bye. So to start off with, we are making jack-o'-lantern quesadillas. My daughter wanted to make these and they're super easy and super fun and it's a great way for her to get involved in the kitchen. She loves being in the kitchen and I mentioned before in one of my other videos that she has actually gotten in the habit of telling me all the time that she's going to teach me how to cook. Yeah, I'm not even lying about that and uh, truth be told, she's probably already better at it than I am. Next up, I am making pumpkin spice Play-Doh with the girls. This is a wonderful recipe. It's made out of real ingredients, so if you do make this, you want to keep it in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator because I'm not sure how well it will hold up to um, just being out in the open. But it's made out of pumpkin and cornstarch, and I put in some pumpkin pie spice for the smell, and oh, it smelled wonderful. And the girls had a lot of fun making it and rolling it out, and they made like little pizzas and just, you know, normal Play-Doh fun but with a little Halloween twist to it. And next up are the spooky snacks that we made. I don't know what it is about kids and putting food into different shapes that just makes it more appetizing, but the girls ate these right up, even though they have bananas and oranges every day. But if you put them in the shape of a ghost and a pumpkin, it just makes them really taste a lot better. Next up was a game of Halloween Bingo, and I found these bingo cards offline. I will leave the link in the description box below, but it was a lot of fun. We just used candy corn for the markers, and whoever won got to eat one piece of candy corn per game, and we played about four games, and the girls were actually very patient and didn't eat all their candy corn in one sitting, which I was pretty impressed with. And one of the crafts that I wanted to do with the girls were these cute little pumpkins that you can wrap around with yarn. It's very simple, it helps with motor skill and development, and these are also something cute that I think that I might even keep past Halloween because they kind of look fallish, and we might even decorate our Thanksgiving Day table with them. The next craft that we did was just simple pumpkin faces on the cheap styrofoam pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I got the little kits also from the Dollar Tree. They had felt ones and they had sticker foam ones and I accidentally gave my three year old the felt ones which meant that she had to deal with glue. That was a major mistake on my part. Definitely if you have a three year old give her the ones with the stickers not the glue. And this project was my absolute favorite. These are felt finger puppets. I saw these on Pinterest and just had to make them for the girls. No, I had to make them for myself. I'm, I'm not even joking. These are so cute. Well, I mean, puppets are so much fun. It took me about an hour to make all of these and I can reuse them year after year. 
I glued most of them and the only sewing I had to do was to actually sew the puppets together just so that they wouldn't tear up so easily. For our stage, we took an Amazon box, painted it black, and decorated it like a haunted house. And I just cut a hole in the back to use as our puppet stage. And we had a lot of fun making our own little puppet theater out of this. And for our first STEM project, we made Witch's Brew, which is just your classic bubbling over a hydrogen peroxide and vinegar. We added some food coloring and some dish soap to make it a little bit more gooey and ooey. The girls love playing with this, but heads up, if you do this project, expect your children to have some green hands for a while. <music> Our next STEM project was the eyeball catapult. This was made out of popsicle sticks and hair ties and uh, it was just a whole lot of fun. The girls liked this most of all. There was some science that we tried to implement in here but mostly they just had a whole lot of fun throwing eyeballs at each other. of our new classics is Room on the Broomed. It's on Netflix. It's also a really great book that is just really cute. And I found this printable online that's completely free. I will leave it in the description box below. But it has words and it has some activities for the girls to do. So it was fun for them to get to watch the movie, read the book, and do the activities all together. <music> And more puppets! I found some more printables offline of shadow puppets and we put on yet another puppet theater but this time using a flashlight and again this was so much fun. Super creative, the girls got to tell different stories and reenact them and we had a great time. And finally we hit up YouTube for some Halloween dancing. I found some great kids videos of some music and songs that they can dance to and I will leave them all in the description box below. this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below. Leave me a comment below if you try out any of these ideas or if you have any homeschool Halloween ideas that you'd like to share. And I'll see you next time. Bye!